By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding on how to start selling shoes on eBay. Now, a lot of people think that the sneaker game is just getting releases and then selling them on StockX. But bro, that's not the only way. Sneakers and clothing sell all day on eBay. In fact, that's one of the biggest marketplaces for clothes and shoes, believe it or not. In my opinion, it's just a better option. Not only are eBay's fees a little less steep than the other competitors, the ability to have your own personal setup, your own store, I just feel like it gives you more independence, more freedom, more opportunity to make a business out of it. And I'm not only gonna tell you how, but I'm gonna give you a few pointers to help you do so. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna talk about one of the first things you need to start. And of course, the obvious things like an account, and the name of your store or account, you would need to come up with that. But the very first thing you would need to do is get a logo made and have a banner made, all right? And let me explain why that's important. It's proven that stores that look more legit make more sales on eBay. And with you being a new seller, that's definitely gonna help convince somebody to go ahead and press the buy button. Now, you don't need anything too extravagant. All you need is something simple. And as far as your banner, all you need is something that says, um, for example, Rico's official eBay store. I, I promise you that goes a long way. Now, as far as getting one made, you can go to Fiverr to get one made, which I always recommend, or you can do it yourself. It's a free design tool like Canva or Pixlr or something like that. Just make sure you go check out the dimensions and make sure it fits. Now that you got that out the way, it's time to start listing and selling items. Now, honestly, this is the least most fun part to most people, but honestly, it's not something that comes into play until you're listing and loading in bulk items into your store at a time. But when you're first starting out, it won't be nothing to list a product here and there. So the very first aspect of listing though is images, all right? Pictures of your product. The, now the data shows that images shot on a, an isolated white background or even green background or just an isolated color background sell better as they look more legit, look more like products you see on Amazon with the white background. That's just the way online selling is these days. You can achieve this same look with something called a light box, all right? Or you can even use a cloth. Now, both are super inexpensive and I will link the ones that I use down below. Now, most people feel like you need to have a fancy camera or something like that, but honestly, you do not. Just make sure your photos are high resolution. And most smartphones today should definitely do the trick. Just, I wanna tell you, if you're selling used sneakers, make sure you're taking close up shots of each imperfection. Trust me, if you ever have a case or a return on something like that, and you'll have something to stand on because you can go and say, hey, this was clearly visible in the listing and it was still purchased. So that might save you from having to give a refund out. Now, since we're talking about the listing, the description is just as important as the image. So listen up. The description is basically where you list the facts about the item, okay? So in this case with shoes, the size if it's brand new or not um, if you take returns I usually put my shipping policy on there people are more willing to buy when they know that hey this guy is gonna ship out the same day I buy him if it's before a certain time so for me I put in my description if you purchase before 3 central standard time I will ship same day now there are custom listing templates and that's for the people who just want to go for that super professional look from my experience when you're selling shoes you don't really have to do that and if you have a programming background then a listing template is just code so just put your shipping policy there put if the item is new does it, if it has the box just everything just use the description to try to convince the buyer hey everything is legit go ahead and buy it so now that we understand how we should approach our images and listing now let's talk about pricing and how to get paid so i get this all the time how how should i price my items and this is how i price an item i go look for an item and i see what that item is selling for and you can do that by searching for the item going down to the sold filter and looking what it's selling for. If I see that it's consistently selling for a price, then I'll put my price around that. For the most part, from my experience in selling sneakers, specifically on eBay, buyers don't mind paying shipping. I usually make buyers pay for shipping. However, you can easily do free shipping if you believe in that mindset and then just add the shipping cost into your price. Now you also, as far as the settings on the listing, you definitely need to fill out all the settings when it comes to the brand, the size, 
the color just so that it's searchable to the people who want to buy it make sure you understand the difference between an auction and buy it now buy it now means i don't want people bidding on it i just want to have a set price and if somebody pays the set price it's theirs as to where an auction is obviously people bidding on it i see a lot of beginners accidentally set something for an auction and they didn't want to do an auction however if you do want to do an auction, which sometimes works out for the better, you can set a starting price on your auction. So if you want bids to start at $100, then you can do that. Now, something I'm hearing a lot is that eBay now allows people to connect their bank account and just get paid directly like that. However, I have searched high and low for that option and I have not been able to find it. I know people who have that option. I don't know why they haven't made it available to me. I do it the old school way and that's plug your PayPal in. Now, you actually plug your PayPal in directly in the listing. Make sure your PayPal is right because that's how you get paid. So now that you understand that part, now let's talk about when we get that sale, the money comes through and then boom, it's time to ship. So listen up to this part because it's very important. In a previous video, I gave you a scenario where I almost got scammed. If you didn't watch that video, I'll link it below. I'll just put it simple. Unless eBay says sold, ship now, do not ship it, all right? And it'll actually tell you a waiting payment. And even when you go to print the shipping label, it'll tell you, but we're gonna get into all that. So you can actually print a packing slip directly through eBay. You do get somewhat of a discount. Some people buy them directly from USPS. Some people go through a third-party vendor. However, from my experience, I I've tried stamps.com and eBay, and I think it's just best to stick with eBay because they're gonna give you just about as good of a discount that, that there is per shipping label. Now, shipping can get real expensive if you don't really know how to do it, all right? I'll advise you to get pack of Avery shipping label sticky, and I'll link those below. Get those because it makes it real easy for you to peel them off and stick them on boxes if you don't have a printer i'll link once again a real cheap printer that i started with now the this is the most important part about shipping is boxes okay the post office or whoever is gonna suggest that you send shoes in their and I think they even call it the, their shoebox size, but no, don't do that. That's gonna cost you two arms and two legs. Now, I use these cardboard boxes that fit perfectly on most shoe boxes. okay? I will link them in the description. It doesn't even have to be those, just a standard cardboard box that your shoes can fit in. See, the trick is, is getting the weight right. So I also suggest that you get a shipping scale. I'll tag you to the, to the cheap one that I use in my description. But as long as the, the weight is accurate, you kind of have some wiggle room as far as the size of the pack. But as long as the package isn't just too big for the box, you know, about, you know, about this size, you should be fine. And then once again, I will tag those down in the description. Now I know what you're thinking, like, bro, it can't be this easy, but honestly it is. Running a successful eBay store selling shoes can definitely supplement your income and can even become full-time income. The only hard part will be now is getting sneakers and stuff like that, which I have another video for that I want you to meet me over on right now, all right? So I love everybody out there. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Let's get it.